Hi. You know, we meet up with a lot of honorary characters trying to keep law and order around these parts. And here's how we get set for all our adventures. With a wonderful, cool bottle of Canada Dry Ginger Ale. Folks of action, and I mean you too, need a ginger upper for that extra quick energy it gives you. It gears you up real fine for any exciting adventure. Hi, Tag. Come on, honey. I've got the best ammunition in the world. Canada Dry. <laughs> okay, Tag. Why don't you switch to America's Ginger Upper? And you'll find out, just like we did, it's the best of them all. It's Canada Dry. <laughs> about Dave here. I sure wish you'd have cut out on that fellow's Winchester a mite sooner, Miss Annie. I couldn't get a line on him, Dave. Both our horses were going wide open. I say they were. There's no one in the world could fire a shot like that but Annie Oakley. Good heavens. Are you Annie Oakley? She sure as thunder is. Yes, I am. Well, of all things. Arthur, don't just stand there and gawk. Say something. <clears throat> well, uh, <clears throat> I'm Arthur Blodgett. This is my sister, Laura, and my younger brother, Mary Hugh. And this is Lofty Craig, my uncle's deputy. Hey, Mr. Craig, let me see your gun, will you? Ow! Sometimes I could wring his neck. <laughs> I know the feeling. I have a kid brother, too, and just wait till you meet him. I suppose they're all alike. I don't know how to thank you. You've saved our lives and... Oh, nonsense. You'll get used to things like stagecoach holdups if you stay around this country long. Are you stopping in Diablo? We plan to make it our home. A Boston syndicate I represent has bought up several banks in the territory. And I plan to make the Diablo Bank the most important in the chain. Show them the money, Art, the development money. Development money, Mary. Don't you call me Mary. He just hates his name. And he's named after one of the largest bankers in the East. His grandfather, Jonathan Merrihew. Grams hates it, too. Once I heard him bawl the daylights out of old Morgan for calling him Mary. Stinky, that's my name. That's what the gang back home calls me. Stinky. Sometimes I could just sit down and cry. <laughs> I don't think it would do any good. Are you really carrying a lot of money? A hundred thousand dollars. I plan to use it in developing the resources around the Abelo. Man, you really would have been a prize. Tag, if that isn't a name. 
Well, it's better than, than Mary. Your sister blab. My sister doesn't blab. She does, too. She does not. Is that your horse? Well, it isn't yours, is it? I've owned better. There ain't any better ones. I bet you can't even ride. Better than you. Any old woman could ride with a saddle like that. I ride English. That takes nerve. Meaning I haven't got any nerve? You heard me. Yeah, I heard you. I got more nerve than you have. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, if you got so much nerve, knock this chip off. Think I'm scared to knock it off? I know you're scared to. Just for that, I will knock it off. Well, why don't you? If you say much more about it, I will knock it off. Much more about it. Much more about it. There, why don't you knock it off? You dare me to knock it off. I double dare you to knock it off. Then I will knock it off. He started it, Mary Hugh. The little ruffian. Calling Tiger ruffian. I most certainly am. Well, that's better than being a sissy, I guess. Are you calling Mary Hugh a sissy? I sure am. If you weren't wearing that deputy sheriff's badge, I'd punch you. If you were wearing those glasses, I'd spread that nose all over your face. Oh, you would, would you? <laughs> Be quiet, Mary. You. Just you get back into your bank where you belong. <laughs> well, of all things. I guess they'll never grow up. You know, I wouldn't have been surprised if it had been Tag and your little brother. Me either. What on earth do you suppose they were fighting about? Well, one of them could have been cheating at marbles. Well, I'd certainly like to know. See, we could find out if y'all had come over to the house for dinner tonight. Lofty shot a whole lot of quail this morning. Why, we'd love to. <laughs> You're safe now. Well, that was quite a scrap you kids were having. Till the old folks stole your thunder. Gosh, Mr. Lingard, we were just warming up. Were we, Stinky? Yeah. What was it all about? Politics? Oh, he thinks he's so smart because his brother's a banker. Everybody knows there's no more than $10,000 in the old bank. Oh, yeah? Well, if you want to know, there's $100,000 in it now. $100,000? You're stretching that a bit, aren't you, son? No, sir. I heard my brother tell Lofty Craig, and I saw the chest we brought it in. It's for development. Huh? Well, you can sure buy an awful lot of, of development for $100,000. What's development? Don't know what development is. Well, if you're so smart, tell me. You got a horse. Yeah, and a good one, too. Well, if you get another horse, that's development. Development? Development? There isn't such a thing as development. It's development. That's a trouble with you, Tenderfeet. 
Nobody can understand you because you don't say everything that's in a word. Devil made my foot. Now, oh, let's go ride your horse. Okay, Stinky. Okay, partner, reach. That's right, do as millions are doing. Reach for the best of them all, Canada Dry Ginger Ale. When you're shopping, it's an easy reach to the handy six bottle cartons of America's Ginger Upper. And Canada Dry Ginger Ale never plays hard to get. Wherever you are, at work, stopping for a bite to eat, out for a drive, Canada Dry is on the spot. Man, that's refreshment. Canada Dry Ginger Ale is full of energy. It's light, dry, and deliciously different. That real Jamaica ginger flavor makes a sure fire hit with a whole family. Yes, sir, everybody's reaching for the best in a bottle. Canada Dry Ginger Ale. When you're shooting for the tops in flavor, sparkle, and goodness, you'll always hit the refreshment bullseye with America's Ginger Upper. Canada Dry Ginger Ale. It's truly the best of them all. Morning, Miss Annie. Oh, hello, Wes. You going hunting? Yeah, I thought I'd try for some quail. I understand there's plenty of them out at the springs. Well, Lofty went out before daylight this morning. He says all you got to do is just put your gun up in the air and pull the trigger. Well, hope my looks is good. <laughs> Incidentally, I understand you're a pretty good cook. If I do get any quail, maybe I'll ask you to broil some for me. Oh, I'd be glad to. <laughs> Yes, plus a lot of talk from Phil Kobe. Tag! You know that man could talk your right arm off when he's selling you a spool of thread? <laughs> Put these in the other room, will you, honey? Sure. Web Lingard dropped these shells when I was talking to him today. I didn't know he cared enough about hunting to reload his own ammunition. Well, these reloads? Mm-hmm. Just put them in the desk and we'll give them back to him later. Mm -hmm. you were going to steer clear of us for a while. I wasn't followed, if that's what you're worried about. Besides, this is important. Money, maybe? Hmm. It's a haul you boys missed on that stagecoach. A hundred thousand dollars. That much, huh? Well, we did the best we could. What do you want us to do now? Take the bank? No. No, that's too risky. There's another way to get that money, Steve. And more, without sticking our necks out. I'm listening. Did you ever sold a mine? Several times in several ways. Then you probably know the best method is to shoot the mine workings full of grain gold and small nuggets. Yeah, that's the best way. Takes a little while to figure out if a mine has been tampered with. Mm -hmm. There's your ammunition. I pulled the shot from these and filled them with nugget gold. It's all been assayed, so I know it's high grade. Well, all we need now is the mine. I've got that too. The old Taylor mine. Yeah, I know those diggings. They're plum worthless. How'd you get hold of it? Jim Taylor lost it to me in a poker game about a year ago, just before he died. You've got all the rights? I sure have. All legal. Now, let's see if I'm keeping up with you. You want me to get the boys and go over the old Taylor mine and salt it. And then you're going to sell it to the bank in Diablo? I'm going to sell it to the tenderfoot who's running the bank in Diablo. Blood. Yeah. <laughs> How long will it take you to do the job? Oh, I don't know. When the boys get back with the horses, we should be able to get out there in a couple of hours. Perfect. I'll go back to town and start working on our tenderfoot banker. I can hardly believe it. These samples are almost pure gold. It is amazing, isn't it? And you say you've owned this mine nearly a year? That's right. Of course, I haven't said much about my puttering around out there. I fear people would laugh at me. 
Incidentally, Mr. Blodgett, since you are new to the area, I feel I should caution you against mentioning this to anyone. We don't want a gold stampede. Oh, most certainly not. Well, I've really enjoyed meeting you, sir. I hope maybe you can come in on this once I get my basic financing. Oh, but I don't understand, Mr. Lingard. Uh, I thought you came here for that. Oh, no, no, I... I'm sorry, but I'm afraid the Diablo Bank wouldn't be strong enough. You see, I'll need a quarter of a million dollars over the period of the next six months. I'll need 100,000 in cash almost immediately. Hmm. This isn't the old Diablo Bank, Mr. Lingard. Through our Eastern connections, we can supply you with all the funds you need. Really? Well, it's nice to know the bank's in such sound condition. Naturally, if it could be arranged, uh, I would like to see the local people share in my good fortune. Oh, but of course, of course. Now, don't you worry about your financing. We'll take care of all that. Oh, wonderful. Uh, in that case, I suggest you keep these samples. And maybe tomorrow morning, you and I can ride out to the mine. Let you see it for yourself. Splendid. Any time you say. Nine o'clock, all right? Fine. Meet you at the bank. Mr. Blodgett? the empty shells. Figured you'd know the best way to get rid of them. Did you get them all? Sure. What's the matter? Nothing. All right. I'll head back to town by way of the springs. Scatter these around like I've been shooting quail. I'll keep you boys posted. Okay. Did you pick up those last two shells I fired over at the mine? No, I thought you did. Well, then we gotta go get them. Why, are they that important? Murder's pretty important, Sam. Come on. Well, here are a couple of young wrestling buckaroos. It's all in good, clean fun, helping to build strong bodies. But oh, the energy it takes. Speaking of energy, here comes the replacements. Here's a little girl who knows that Canada Dry Ginger Ale, besides being wholesome and delicious, is just the drink for quick energy. A perfect way to recharge young batteries. And man, don't those youngsters go for it. They love that different, delicious flavor of Canada Dry Ginger Ale. They like the way it makes them feel refreshed in a hurry. And so does everyone else. Millions of people are switching to Canada Dry Ginger Ale because they found out for themselves that it's the best of them all for flavor, for purity, and for quick energy. How about it, youngsters? You said it. Canada Dry Ginger Ale is my favorite. Me too. Canada Dry Ginger Ale is tops. Guess that cinches it. There's just nothing better than cool, refreshing, delicious Canada Dry. So why don't you try America's Ginger Upper today? I found Pop in his burrow out in Dark Canyon. The burrow had been shot, too. There's plenty of sign. Will you tell your uncle? I can't. The sheriff's in Tucson on business, and Lofty Craig just left to serve a warrant. I'll have to go myself. Oh, would you take Pop's body over to Doc Baker's, please? Oh, sure, sure, Miss Annie. 
Tag, you stay here and watch things. Why, Fish, I will. I'm going with you. Well, then there won't be anybody here. It'll give the office a rest. Maybe offices like a rest. But I want you to stay here. And I want to go with you. Oh, Tag, why won't you ever do what I want you to do? Because you never want me to do what I want to do. The trail's plain from where we found the dead burrow tag. And there were two horses with him. It leads this way. Tag. We're looking for evidence. Maybe that's some there. There was a heel off of one of Pop Wade's boots. Freshly torn off, too. He hadn't walked on it. Hey, Tag, you're improving. Well, oh, those tracks, it looks like he was dragged out of the mine over to his burrow. That means he must have been killed inside. Just circle around slowly, Tag, and then work your way toward the center. See him. So there they gotta be. Just keep throwing lead. It's just a matter of time before we can go down and get them. but not right now. It ought to be sundown in about an hour. You get back to the cabin and get Bill. After dark, meet me in the cottonwood grove outside Diablo. Ain't that dangerous? Yeah, but we're playing with murder, and that's dangerous, too. Okay, Stinky McGee, get in there. You can't do it to me. I know my right. Get in there. I don't understand the meaning of all this, but I do know I don't intend to stay here any longer. 
I got it, Annie. Looks like your waiting's over, Webb. This is Doc Baker's report of an autopsy performed on the body of Pop Wade. He was murdered today at Taylor's Mine. Pop was killed by one of the most expensive bullets ever fired. He was shot by a double blast of shotgun shells, and the shells were loaded with pure nugget gold. Incredible. You dropped these today when I was talking to you, Webb. And they matched these. And these two unfired shells were reloaded with gold nuggets. Why would anybody want to load a shotgun shell with gold nuggets? Usually to salt a mine, Mr. Blodgett. Oh? What have you to tell us, Lofty? Well, after you came over here, Lingard, I went to your office and got your shotgun. You dare to do that? Peace officer trying to solve a murder dares do a lot of things. I took your gun over to the assay office and had him run a simple test on the barrels. You know, you've got a mighty valuable gun there. The barrels are practically lined with gold. Well, that still doesn't prove I had anything to... don't prove nothing, Webb. Come on in, boys. You got a horse waiting for you outside. Head west. We'll catch up with you just as soon as we take care of these people. what you were trying to sell me, assaulted mine. And if Stinky's still looking for a devilment, we've got all kinds of around here. Huh, Stinky? You bet, Tag. Now it's ginger upper time for us. Please, Sanny. Okay, Tag. Tag and I sure would like to have you join us in a bottle of Canada Dry Ginger Ale. Try it. It makes you feel so wonderful. Right, Tag? <laughs> Just pick up a carton of Annie Oakley's favorite, Canada Dry Ginger Ale. <laughs> 